So Ricky, a 1-1 draw today. Did you come away feeling a bit frustrated after that one? Yeah, I mean, there was definitely frustration in the dressing room, but you know what, over the course of the season, those games happen. You know, I was actually pleased with, I would say, about 75% of our levels of performance. Uh, we've spoke before, uh, and I've not been pleased with the levels of performance and you get the win. We didn't get the win tonight. I thought we more than deserved the win. I thought we controlled the second half. I was disappointed with the goal that we lost. Um, but I was really delighted with the guys' work ethic and mentality to go and get a goal back. And I think probably on another day, we probably score another couple. Um, don't get me wrong, they had a couple of chances first half. We had a couple of good chances first half as well. Um, and if those goes in, you know, the game could, you know, have been a, a higher score. But, you know, like, like I said, over the course of the season, these types of games happen. And it was a point Dorian made actually, he he'd mentioned that it's very hard to play a team in the space of whatever it's been, four or five weeks, three times. Um, and that, that's true, you know, you can probably work yourself out quite quite, quite easily and it's, it's the case uh, uh, for both sides. So, um, yeah, frustrated a little bit, yeah. You've mentioned that sort of interesting dynamic of having played Starling three times already this season. And in those other games, we obviously won, but there was moments in the match Starling could have taken the lead in that first game there and maybe just feeling like they would obviously going to be due something at some point in one of these games taking the lead in this one. Yeah, maybe. I think over the three games, I would like to think, um, certainly from my point of view, we were, we were a far stronger side over the three games. And I think we deserved our, our victories. And that's no disrespect to Starling. You know, Geddes is a, a very good manager. We've got a good say, good young players. We lost quite a few in the, in the summer as well, so you know it was a rebuilding job there. So they're always energetic, they're always a threat. Um, so, um, but for me, when I when I look at that, I still think when I'm looking over the piece tonight, I think we deserve to win. That's only my opinion, of course. So, um, but it's it's difficult to play a team that many times in a short space of time. It's no excuse. As Kate said, it is what it is. But it, it's that we 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 take the lessons from it. Um, there was a lot of areas that I looked at tonight that I felt we could have uh, done well, but also some areas that we could have done better. And that's maybe an obvious thing to say, but uh, that gives us food for thought going forward uh, to Saturday. Mm, and I believe in your first answer there as well. You mentioned the word mentality as well. It's actually yeah. the first time this season, of course, we've even been behind in the game. So you're happy with the reaction of the lads that they get that equaliser quite quickly and then did try and push for the winner. You could see yeah. they were frustrated at the end. I thought they were going to get the winner and I thought when we scored, I thought we were going to go on and win the game because we had all the ball, we had all the play. Um, but listen, you've got to credit um, Uni are still in there. I mean, they're putting bodies on the line, they're defending everything that's flung to them. I think we had a couple of really good chances. Reg at the back post, I don't know how tight the angle was. We had a lot of pressure in there. Keepers had a good save, we had corner kicks. So on another day, you go and score those, but we, we didn't today and we've been very efficient with our goal scoring and, um, and chances created. So. Um, we, we look at it, we'll have a look at the game again and, and keep working. The positives to take out of the performance still oh, today, yeah. as you mentioned, and yeah. 90 minutes for Aidan Clocky as well. Yeah, one of them is too. I thought Aidan was great, and I think it was important to, as mentioned to the guys on Saturday, utilise the squad. Obviously, Lenny played, Martin played on Saturday, um, then obviously Aidan played tonight, Conor McLaren, who's back for injury. So it's important that we utilise the squad, and I said to them in there, like, you know, I believe in every one of them. Any team that I pick, I think, is going to win any game in this lower league. Um, it wasn't to be tonight, but I think we deserved it. And just to finish up then, we know every game has been pretty different, sort of different challenges at this moment in time, and another different challenge to come this weekend against Celtic B. Yep, exactly. I mean, they're good young players. Um, they're obviously playing at a, a, a massive club. Um, they've got individual things to, to prove to try and uh, get in front of the first team manager. Um, and that poses us a different problem, of course, where the, there's individual battles that we need to make sure that we, we do well in. Um, but they're also a good side as well. They're well coached. They play a certain style. Um, but so are we. So I'm looking forward to the game highly uh, on Saturday. Right, thanks for your time, Ricky. Cheers, lads.